Welcome to another episode of the Easy Bake Chef. Today we'll be working from the 1971 Easy Bake Cookbook and making bread pudding. But before we start baking, I thought I'd spend a little time talking about this oven itself that I've been working with. Uh, and I thought I would display everything I got when I bought this last Christmas. Uh, let's start with the box. The box is in pretty good condition. I did a little restoration on it. This is actually not the 1963 Easy Bake Oven. This is a slightly later model from around 67. And what they did, if you notice here, the handle, uh, they have added things here because children were trying to, the first handle didn't have these and children would grab it and they'd burn themselves on this. So this is a slight modification, but everything else is pretty much the same. The Easy Bake Oven came when a sales manager in New York named Norman Shapiro, uh, he worked for Kenner, and he noticed the pretzel vendors on the street of New York City with their little pretzel ovens. And he pitched uh, the idea of making a pretzel oven for children, generally young girls. So other people at Kenner took that idea and actually turned it not just to a pretzel maker, but an entire oven. So this one is particularly cool because it comes from French Canada, where you are required to show products not only in English, but also in French. So here's the four easy bake. And interesting that some stuff on here is in French, like cuisson visible, but other things are not. Bake mix goes in here, is in English. All this stuff uh, is in English and all this is in English. There's in English too. On the side, here we come to the English version of it. And then here is uh, the French version. Once again, some stuff in English, some stuff in French. So it's kind of cool to have this une création des Kenner uh, in English uh, and in French. The cookbooks that I have come half in English and half in French. And this from Pillsbury also is a cookbook in English and in French. My set was pretty complete. It came with the three Easy Bake pans, which were actually in quite good condition. I've seen a lot of these on sale where the pan is really rusted out. So these are clean. Um, another cake pan, I'm not exactly sure. I guess you just do it in there for a slightly smaller cake. Uh, it had measuring instruments and the measuring bowl. This stuff actually came from the product Kenner had made in the 50s, the um, Freddy Crocker cooking set. So it came with a, um, a rolling pin and a rolling tray and um, cookie cutters, which I have not used yet. And this, I think, somebody just threw in as an additional thing. The oven itself, I've always thought was interesting because it's, it's really weird. Uh, later editions of the Easy Bake Oven looked much more like an oven. And you'll see how it wasn't very hard to make them look like your mom's actual oven. This was seen to be designed more on functionality, you know, just being able to slide things in and out. Uh, the cooling area here had fake, uh, fake stove and fake uh, stove knobs, which do nothing. Um, I also thought it would be cool to open it up and see what it looks like. So I took out, uh, there's six screws that come out and let's reveal the inner workings and let's see how dirty this is. This is from like 1967. So let's see what has happened over the years. So here are the two light bulbs. And you can see we do have, there's been some drippage over the years. So I'm gonna clean all that out. Um, they use light bulbs rather than a heating element 
because they wanted to present it as safe. In fact, the original name was the Safety Bake Oven, but the FTC wouldn't let him use that because they hadn't proven it was safe. So it became the Easy Bake Oven. But the idea that you were using two light bulbs rather than a heating element was meant to reassure parents. Actually, it doesn't make it safer at all. This oven gets up to 350 degrees because Edison's original incandescent light bulb is completely inefficient. We all know that it actually generates more heat than it generates light. So this is actually a, a pretty dangerous toy. Um, on the other side here, you see how um, it actually works. And once again, I'm gonna clean all this up, but there is a little uh, shelf here that lets things move in. And then these pieces of metal, which redirect all the heat and make uh, a very hot cooking area. Um, somebody wrote in the comments, one of my earlier videos, that she woke up to see an Easy Bake Oven box in the morning and excitedly opened it up and the mother had cut the cord off because uh, she felt it was too dangerous. So this little girl tried anyways, made an Easy Bake Cake and put it in here with no power. Her grandmother snuck in, took the cake out, cooked it for her and put it back in. So she thought somehow her Easy Bake Oven had magically worked with no power. So I'm gonna clean up uh, all this junk that has accumulated over the years and come back and we will start baking our Easy Bake Bread Pudding. So here is the all cleaned up and polished interior of the Easy Bake Oven so we can get good recipes made. So I've cleaned the Easy Bake Oven thoroughly. Now we do have to attach the special thing on the side here that allows the cakes to pop out. So this goes there. And now we have a place for our pans to come out. So for our bread pudding, I've actually cut the recipe in half so it'll fit in the uh, Easy Bake Bowl. And we start by ripping up two pieces of bread. I'm actually gonna lose some of the crust here, I think. Just, uh, just use the bread itself. I'm making this because it only required one egg and I had one egg left from uh, the quiche. So I thought, why not make something that uses that egg? Okay, so there is our bread. Now we add a quarter cup of milk. This recipe, by the way, comes from the 1971 uh, Easy Bake Oven cookbook. So it actually is an official Easy Bake Oven. We add, I'm adding a half an egg because I've cut uh, the recipe in half. So it fits. We're supposed to add about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. So here goes our vanilla. And then just a little bit of raisins. So sprinkle some raisins in there. I think that's a fair amount. And let's start chopping this up. See if I can make it into a rice pudding. I'm sorry, a bread pudding. Okay, so that's about ready. I actually forgot that I need two tablespoons of sugar. So would have been, I think, pretty unpleasant without the sugar. So let's get the sugar in there. That'll 
definitely uh, make it a lot sweeter. So let's hold that sugar in there. I would probably, making this myself, use less sugar, but I want to be faithful to the Easy Bake recipe, so I will use what they recommended in 1971. Okay. My sugar is in there. I'm going to actually start preheating the Easy Bake oven. There we go. And I'm supposed to fill the pan half full because I'm thinking this may um, this may rise a little bit. So let's get it in there. I can do a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm supposed to add a little bit of butter on the top. I don't know why that goes in later, but it's supposed to, and um, a little bit of milk, too. Okay, so I think that is ready to go into the Easy Bake Oven. So, and just slide it in to the newly clean. Push that down a little bit. There we go. Into the Easy Bake Oven. And we will come back when it's finished. And here is the bread pudding bubbling away in the Easy Bake Oven. So we'll be back to see how it came out. So it's been 25 minutes and I've made some other puddings. The recipe said it was enough for three puddings. I made half the recipe and I had enough for two and a half. So I mixed just a little bit more together and came up with three. So I've added the butter and I'm going to add a little bit of milk. And we should see the first one pop out here as I push this one in. So let's see what happens. And there is our first bread pudding. So here is our second bread pudding. A little browner than the first one. But let's try and uh, unplate these and see how they come out. There we go. Looks pretty good. Nice and clean. So there's that one. And so this one will come out too. Almost burnt there, but not quite. Okay, let's go in the dining room and have the official taste test. And our official taster is going to tell me how it came out. So Jerry, cut yourself a piece using the Easy Bake Cutter. I would say not that section, that might be kind of burnt. That's the part I like. Oh, you like that? Okay. I'm worried it's not going to be good, but. Yeah? And this is coming from a man who is notorious for not liking bread pudding. So you actually like this? It tastes like a cookie. Oh, okay. And my turn, I love bread pudding. So we'll see how I feel about this. Here we go. 
Mmm. I like it a lot. Um, like a cookie, but kind of like a soft cookie. And I love the raisins. So another success. So thanks for joining me on another episode of The Easy Bake Chef. Thank you.